This is a quick video showing how I'm going to try to seal this drafty window with this silicone rubber window seal I got from Home Depot, which is the best. I don't know what happened to my window, but you can see it kind of like bows out and there's this huge gap right here. So air is kind of coming underneath. The idea is we're going to put this stuff with the self-adhesive strips on the bottom side of this and then it'll provide some extra squishy stuff to close the gap between the bottom rail of the window and this bottom. So first thing I'm going to do is just clean the bottom surface of this because it's going to stick right there. I'm just using some isopropyl alcohol so it should dry pretty fast. So it actually comes as two strips in one. So I think the first thing you do is um, you gotta separate them. So you can just kind of tear them apart. Then I'll cut it to length, maybe a little bit over. You just pull off this backing and stick it on the underside of the window rail. I'm not sure whether you should have it this side facing the front or that side. Maybe it doesn't really matter. I think most of what it's doing is making sure air can't go underneath the rail. I'm going to try and line it up with this front edge of the window. Maybe I should have cut that to length better. Make sure it's secure. Get a little cut there in the corner. And slide that over. All right, windows all the way down. And I think it's, it's barely making uh, contact with the bottom of my sill, so it's actually blocked off the air. Um, in my case, I think I actually might need a little bit more. I might put another strip on the on the bottom or just maybe where this goes out. But yeah, that's it. So it's um, 3 eighths of an inch tall and uh, 17 feet, but I think that's only when you tear apart the strips.